I'd look this side. Because that way you have that crappy knot on the lettering. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Here we Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Woo! about a thing. Today's project is a 3D sculpture. We will be also doing an infinity mirror. This will be my first attempt, but I'm excited to share my process with you all. If you are new to the channel and love to watch process videos of painting, woodwork, building, mixed media, please like and subscribe and hope you guys enjoy this video. So for this project, I needed mirrors, and thankfully, lying around in my garage, I had two small identical mirrors. So I started off with creating my own frame. As you saw, I cut the pieces to size, and I gave them a nice finish, so that way I could adhere them to the glass. pieces now this is to whoop, when I put my LED lighting these little pieces are actually going to cover the lighting so that way everything is nice and discreet between these small layered pegs so I'm going to go ahead and paint these now hello everybody welcome as you can see, once I applied the frame to the mirror, I was already having tons of fun. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this piece of glass. And uh, this is gonna be my first time. Also, order this on Amazon gonna be my first go around but this right here is the scoring tip it's gonna go on the surface of the glass I'm gonna get my measurements so that way it matches my infinity mirror I'm gonna put that down and uh, yeah we should have a nice tight fit of a glass piece so we can create that reflective wall okay we about to make magic I should be, I should be wearing protective eyewear. Okay, caution. Don't do this at home. Unless you're crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, we're scoring. Adrenaline. This is living. This is life. I'm glass gata. This is what I ended up with. Not where I wanted it to go. Did I get frustrated? Yes. Um, am I glad I bought another piece of glass for my second runaround? Yes, I'm happy about that. Goodness! I gotta raise up this table or else I'm gonna be like... Hunched over for the next 50 years. Okay, that's it. No mas. We're gonna, we're gonna try to tap this and uh, say a little prayer. Okay. Okay. Not too shabby. Probably gotta sand the rest of it down. After celebrating my time with woodwork and glasswork and all the challenges that entailed, I was pumped to get to creating the face. So to make it 3D, I used cardboard and newspaper. It's the most affordable, ethical, and resourceful, and you really can't go wrong with just bundling a bunch of paper and making your face. Y'all, 
there's different types of cardboard. Let's go figure. Check this out. One strip. Here we go. Okay. That's what I wanted. The corrugated side. That's what I wanted. Oh yeah. Sweet. Okay, so for the next part of my project, I am going to be <laughs> moving into paper. Um, let's jump right into it, y'all. Mental health disorders. This is the section I'm going to be ripping my paper out of, and there's a reason why, and I'm really excited to share it with you why I'm ripping out of this specific section. Uh, I was going to dip into policies and law. Um, I didn't own any books on law. <laughs> but mental health disorders, I believe it's the gateway uh, in a way to some of the issues in our society. And mentally, we're affected, right? Our emotion, our mental, our physical is affected by policies, laws and generational trauma. It is what it is, y'all, so we're gonna get into it. It's always fun when you get to work with material that teaches you something, so I really did enjoy applying this type of information to my piece to support the message I wanted to deliver. Finally, I got to my favorite part, which was painting. I got to really enhance the community of faces and add that extra touch so that way it could really reflect the meaning of community and collective work. Now I have to gather my things so that way I can go and install this 3D head. What up y'all? So I thought it would be good to document the last day of working on the project. Um, I was gonna drive it to the theater slash gallery that it's you know supposed to be installed but I would talk to the curator and they actually said that I had a few days and I could install it earlier before the night reception and I felt so relieved like y'all I just finished the project literally end time and I had to put it in my car and bounce um, I went to bed at 5 a.m. last night so I haven't hustled like that into the night in a while. nap and was like you know what I deserve something I deserve a small celebration um, so yeah I'm here I'm doing my thing um, feeling grateful feeling so impressed uh, with how many hours uh, that I can put into something if I put my mind to it and I'm praying I'm doing my stretching in the morning I'm giving in to breaks when I need them that's a new art form that I've been really like trying to tag on to and it's been helping me because 
you know, you gotta put your foot on the pedal. Go big or go home, you feel me? So, I love y'all. After viewing Dutchman in the theater and having the opportunity to respond through this artwork, I had so much fun. And as you can see, we celebrated so hard after the show. Energy, the spirit of life and dance filled the room. Everybody was extremely supportive. And I think this is the best part of doing work with community that is impactful and it brings joy and it brings meaning to the work that I do. <laughs> and I only want to share that energy through my art. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Your support keeps me creating. Thank you so much. I hope this video inspires you to continue to make work, join communities, and do things that you love to do with passion, with meaning, and with a message. Enjoy. I'll see y'all in the next video.